Human rights organizations report that Russia has resorted to recruiting children to boost its troop numbers in eastern Ukraine. In a bid to replace the estimated 30,000 soldiers either killed, wounded or captured so far in the war, Moscow is said to be recruiting from youth clubs and forcefully enrolling 16-year-olds. So-called patriotic clubs sprang up in Russian-occupied parts of eastern Ukraine following its invasion in 2014 as part of a campaign to promote the country's culture in Luhansk and Donetsk. The reports come as Ukraine has been forced to give volunteer civilians weapons training so that they can defend their cities. The training includes close defense tactics, use of weaponry, military tactics and first aid. The other day Ukrainian officials called on the United Nations to investigate Russia's alleged use of child soldiers. According to human rights organizations, the children are undergoing military training and could be sent to the front line, perhaps against their will. Some may have already been pushed into action and lost their lives in the fighting. Reports have also suggested the badges and insignia of Russian military cadets, who are also not supposed to be deployed to war zones, have been found on battlefields in Ukraine. The Ukrainian Parliamentary Commissioner on Human Rights, Lyudmyla Denisova, said, The occupation authorities of Luhansk and Donetsk have been doing military training of teenagers and there have been deaths among them in Ukraine. In doing so, the Russian Federation has violated the laws and customs of war provided by the 1949 Geneva Convention on the Protection of Civilians and the Rights of Children. The recruitment of children is a violation of international law. Russia's patriotic clubs have been described as indoctrination centers by campaigners. The program started in 2015, the year after the Russian invasion of Duhansk and Donetsk. Newsdesk, Kaumuthi Global.